Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Alexander and I'm the Aquatics and Fitness Lead at Courage Caney over at our Golden Valley site. Today I'm going to teach you how to stretch with a friend. A couple things to talk about before we jump right in. Number one, whenever you're stretching, always move slowly and constantly communicate to the person that you're working with. This will reduce injury and also make the stretch a lot more effective. Number two, should always feel a slight pull on that target muscle and never any pain. If you're feeling some pain, go ahead and decrease the stretch a little bit. You should be fine. Number three, know that you're gonna have different range of motion from side to side of your body. You might have a greater range of motion on your right side and be a little more limited on the left side. And that's just fine. We're all unique in our own special ways. Number four, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna hold the stretch for about 10 seconds. When you're at home stretching, feel free to hold the stretch around 20 seconds or whatever feels right for your body. You can perform the stretch two to three times a day. The last thing that I'll add is that I ask you to listen to your body and do what you can, but always remember to stay safe at all times. This is Chelsea and Chelsea is gonna be helping us with our video today. So we're gonna start with a trap stretch. I'm gonna start by putting my left hand on her shoulder, anchoring her shoulder down. My right hand is gonna go on the side of her head. We're gonna slowly push across, stretching the space between her ear and her shoulder. Now come back up nice and slow. Good, we'll do it again. So again, anchoring down the shoulder, pushing the left ear over with my right hand, only going as far as she feels comfortable feeling that slight pull in that muscle, holding for 10 seconds for the video, but at home you can hold it for about 20 seconds or whatever feels right for you. So over to the other side, my left hand, or I'm sorry, my right hand is gonna be holding down her shoulder. Left hand is gently pushing across. You'll notice that each side is a little bit different. So she gets a little more range of motion on this left side as opposed to her right side. And that's just fine. Okay, anchoring down, pushing over. Chelsea's just breathing at her own pace, taking nice breaths. Every time she exhales, she can go a little bit deeper into the stretch, trying to get those muscles to relax a little bit more. Okay, so that was for the trap. Now we're gonna move to a lat stretch. So this is for the side of her body. I'm gonna go ahead and support her wrist with one of my hands and just below the elbow with my other hand. We're gonna go up nice and slow to wherever she feels that pull starting in her side. So all the way from her underarm, all the way down to her hip, maybe. Hold it for 10 seconds. We're gonna come down. Okay, we'll do it one more time. And this time she might get a little more range of motion. So we'll come up. I wanna make sure that we're not coming up too high where she's tipping over to the opposite side. So only go as far as you can while we're stretching that target muscle. Come down nice and slow. Don't just let the arm go, bring it back nice and slow. Okay, over to the other side, supporting under her wrist, supporting under the elbow, coming up nice and slow to where she feels a nice pull on the side of her body. Gonna hold it there for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna slowly bring it down. Okay, now she should be able to get a little more range of motion. Gonna bring it up, making sure I'm not tipping her over to the side. Supporting under the elbow and under the wrist. Pulling up with both. Nice and slow, going down to the side. Okay, so we got the underarm done. Now we're gonna move up to the chest. So however high we can bring up the arm, we're gonna start there. I'm gonna support in her wrist, support under her elbow again, and then we're just gonna bring this arm backwards, opening up the chest, feeling a good pull in the front there. Again, I'm holding for 10 seconds, but you can hold for about 20. If the person has a little less range of motion in their lat, in their side, so the arm only comes up to here, that's just fine. Now we're gonna go 
come straight back. Again, just lengthening the space between the elbow and then the center of the chest, stretching out those pec muscles. Slowly coming forward and down. Okay, now over to the left side. Again, supporting under the wrist, supporting under the elbow. We're gonna go up as high as she feels comfortable. We don't wanna go above the shoulder, so we can stop at the T where your arm looks like a T. We're gonna come straight back. Feels okay there? Yeah. yeah. If you have the space, you can keep the arm straight. Otherwise, I'm just bending the elbow a little bit so she doesn't run into the wall. We're gonna come forward. And again, if there's limited range of motion, that's just fine. I'm gonna pull back just the same, stretching out that chest. Again, she's breathing deeply. Every time she exhale, we might be able to get a little bit deeper into the stretch. And we're gonna let it relax. Okay, so now we're gonna move into another stretch that's gonna help open up the chest a little bit more. It's called an external rotation. I'm gonna support just underneath her elbow. We're gonna get that elbow up as high as we can to about shoulder height. Again, if they're limited range of motion, we can start right here. And then all I'm gonna do is slowly bring the arm backwards. Think about, it's like how when you're throwing a ball, when you're reaching back to throw the ball, that's the motion that we're gonna start with. Slow and controlled come out of that. Again, play with the elbow, bring the elbow up a little bit to about shoulder height, and we're gonna go into that stretch one more time. It's a very limited range of motion. You can see it's pretty tight in Chelsea. So that's why you go slow and controlled and you always ask, is that good? And slowly come out of that, bring the arm down. Okay, now over to the other side. Again, supporting having her elbow right in my hand my other hand is right in front of her wrist. We're gonna keep the elbow at the same place the whole time, and we're just gonna rotate around the shoulder. Again, you can see the difference in side to side here. So this should be a good stretch for that front of the shoulder and the chest. We're gonna go into that one more time. So you should feel it in here, and then we can feel it on the top and a little bit in the back of the shoulder too, that's okay. As long as there's no pain, then it's okay. Come forward and down again. Okay, one more stretch for the upper body. So this is a really good stretch that we probably all need to do because we've been sitting around, sitting down too much, working on the computer, watching TV, whatever we're doing. So this is gonna open up the whole front side of our body. We're just gonna do one arm at a time. So holding, supporting behind the elbow, supporting in front of the wrist, all we're gonna do is stand straight up and go as high as she feels comfortable like she's raising her hand in class to answer a question. Feels okay? Yep. Yeah. Come down nice and slow. Again, we're gonna support in front of, or underneath the elbow, underneath the wrist. We're gonna come straight up. You can play with it a little bit if this is too um, a little too tight and we don't get much range of motion. You can bring the arm out to the side a little bit more. And we're gonna come down. So I'll show you that a little more on the other side. Now with the left side, again, if this is a little too tight, should be feeling it all the way into the underarm, down through the chest, maybe even into the abs as well, into your ribs. This is a little too tight and come down. You can bring the arm out to the side a little bit more and then go straight up that way. So she's forming a little more of a Y. Again, as long as you feel it anywhere in the front side of the body, this is gonna be a really good stretch for you. And then come on down and relax. Okay, those are all the upper body. Now we're gonna move into the lower body. <clears throat> We're just gonna start with her left leg in a hamstring stretch. So that's the back of the thigh. If she's able to, we're gonna straighten out the knee. I'm gonna support underneath her heel and just behind the knee, and I'm gonna pull straight up. 
If the hamstring is really tight, the farther up you go, the more leaning back she's gonna do. So make sure we don't pull up too much or she's gonna be really leaning into the back of the chair. And that's not what we're gonna want. Good. If this is painful on the knee, you can go ahead and let the knee bend a little bit and we're still gonna kind of pick straight up. So she should feel the stretch in the back of the thigh, maybe even into the lower back, into those glutes. Hold in for 10 seconds, and we're coming down. Okay, over to the other side. With the right leg, again, it's really important to support with your left hand on this side, right behind the knee. And then we're gonna pull straight up. Only go as far as you feel comfortable and as far as she feels comfortable, stretch in the back of the thigh. Feel okay? Yep. Okay. Hold in for 10 seconds and slowly come down. Again, don't drop the leg. Be nice to your friends. You can bend the knee a little bit. If, that was, um, if there's any pain in the knee, you can let the knee bend, just let it drop. We're still gonna pick straight up. Feeling a good stretch in the back of the leg maybe even into the lower back. And we're gonna calm down. Good, so that was the hamstring, the back of the thigh. Now we're gonna to move to the quad, which is the top of the thigh. If they're able to, they can scoot forward a little bit in their chair. If they're not, that's just fine. If they're not able to, that's just fine. We're, all we're gonna do is bend the knee. So with my left hand, I'm gonna pick up the leg a little bit to um, take away the friction from the bottom of the foot. Then I'm just gonna bring the foot back behind, let the knee bend, feeling a good stretch in the top of the thigh. Holding it for 10 seconds, slowly relaxing out of it. We'll do it again one more time, picking up the leg first. You can bring the foot out to the side a little bit as well. As long as you're bending the knee and she is feeling the stretch in the top of the thigh, that's perfect, that's what we want. There's too much um, too much strain in, in the knee, then just back off a little bit. You don't want there to be any pain in the knee joint. We just want a good stretch for the top of the thigh. Over to the left side of the body. Start with it straight. I'm gonna support under the knee. We're gonna bend the knee, come straight back. Just feel a good stretch in the top of the thigh. Again, if they're feeling pain in the front of the knee or in the knee joint itself, go ahead and just back off a little bit and that's okay. Come out of it. Good, now one more time. Hold in for 10 seconds. Get my hand out of the way. And we're gonna very good, so that was for the top of the thigh and we already got the back of the thigh, you can scoop back now. Good, so now we're gonna do the inner thigh. I'm gonna pick up the leg with my left hand supporting underneath her foot, support underneath the knee, and all we're gonna do is come out to the side. So you should feel a good stretch in the inner thigh, maybe even into the groin. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Good, nice deep breath and relax. Good, we can straighten the leg if they're able to. Again, make sure to support underneath the knee if we're straightening out the leg. We're gonna go nice and slow to the side, feeling good stretch. You okay there? Yeah. Good. Good, come back to center and down. Now over to the other side. If the person has a limited amount of hamstring stretch, meaning if they can't straighten their leg all the way, it is fine to have a bent knee on this one. And we're just gonna bring the leg out to the side the same way. So she should feel a good stretch on the inner thigh, no matter if the leg is bent or if the leg is straight. Hold it for 10 seconds. Come back to center. Okay, if she's able to straighten the leg all the way, Supporting underneath the knee, come up to the side as far as she can and as far as she feels comfortable. You can keep the opposite leg just right where it is. 
Um, if you want a deeper stretch, you can move that leg to the outside. But for most of us, I think it's going to be fine just keeping that leg right where it is. And down. Okay, that was for the inner thigh. Now for the outer thigh and the abductor muscles. So I want you to go ahead and start and straighten out the opposite knee. Just try to get that leg out of the way a little bit. And now what we're going to do is, if she's able to straighten the leg again, we're going to go across. You're okay? <laughs> okay. We're going to push it across the midline. The midline is the line that goes in between your chin, down through the center of your chest, past your belly button, and in between your feet. So in order to stretch the abductors, you can go ahead and relax. In order to stretch the abductors or the outside of the thigh, we need to bring across the midline. And we'll hold it there. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. So again, this is for those that have a little bit tighter hamstrings. And we're just going to bring it down. That's fine. Right. Now for the other side. We're going to bring the leg across the center of the body. So you should be feeling the stretch on the outer thigh, maybe even into the glutes. Come back to center, relax the leg down. Again, if the hamstrings are a little too tight, you can just let that knee bend and we're going to push it across the midline, stretching the outer thigh, maybe even the glute. Nice deep breath. We're going to come back and let it relax. And those are all the stretches that we have for today. Thanks, Charles, for helping. Thank you for joining us today, and we really hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that when you're stretching, always move slowly into the stretch, continue to breathe, and always have communication with the person that's helping you to ensure that you get the best out of your stretch. From all of us here at Courage Kenny, keep moving, keep smiling, and be well. Hope to see you soon.